Google blacklistprisonplanet.com, and when you scroll down, you can see the email to our channel, uh, and we saw this last night. It actually came in um, yesterday morning, but Aaron saw it last night at about 7, and I was still here at the office, and he notified me, and I went back there and read it. Uh, and uh, sometimes it takes a day, usually it's a few hours, for them to shut down or lock down a channel. It has not happened yet, and so I ran in here at about 8 at night, shot a five-minute video breaking down uh, the fact that they told us, hey, look, uh, you showed a short clip, by the way, we put this video up over six months ago, of the Apache helicopter shooting up the Reuters reporter and the minivan, they're like little black dots down the street being shot. I mean, it's nothing. Uh, and we countered back to them saying, you're going to do this to our channel. And we counterclaimed and said, this is on Al Jazeera. This is on CNN. This is ABC, CBS. I mean, there's literally hundreds of news agencies with the whole video. And they blew it up. I talk about the video and go, look at the troops. Look at the troops. The troops on the ground go and save the wounded children and point out that this was wrong. And then the helicopter pilots make jokes about it. And I said, that shows how they're removed from the death, but the troops that are actually seeing the kids, you know, all shot up, they have humanity. And I, and I just said, shame on those helicopter pilots. That's why they banned the video. We had the video banned where I showed the puppy being thrown off the cliff by the troops. All the other news agencies were allowed to have it. We couldn't have it because we pointed out how we're dehumanized. People don't feel empathy when they see humans being killed, but they got upset about dogs. My issue wasn't even really about the troops. It was about the psychology. We had a problem with that a few years ago. So I, I just remembered that we had, had this happen before. So they use anything. They white glove inspect us. Other people's you know, things can be a pigsty. We do anything. They're moving to shut us down. It could happen any time. Uh, they, 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 they might shut it down completely. They say they might just freeze it for two weeks. So that millions of people every week that get their news off that can't get it. Uh, quite frankly, that will just make us make more money. But that's not my goal. You know, PrisonPlanet.tv members know that almost everything that goes on PrisonPlanet.tv, then a week or so later goes on our channels. Sure, you get it in higher quality. You get it all in one place. You get books. You get other films we're not authorized to put on YouTube. Other people's films that authorize us to post it on PrisonPlanet.tv. $5.95 a month. It's really just like a donation to help pay for the bandwidth and pay for the rest of the operation. We appreciate you. But everybody knows you can get it on the Alex Jones channel. And our listeners lovingly support PrisonPlanet.tv to get it first, to get it in one spot, but also to support us. So shutting down our channel which we hope doesn't happen because our goal is to get the word out. All that's going to do is make tens of thousands of people come sign up at prisonplanet.tv. Uh, so, uh, you know, God turns every attack into a blessing. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And, I, you know, reading that in Sunday school as a little kid, I didn't understand it. But in my life, every time bad things happen to us and I just continue and don't back down, other doors open that are even bigger and better to get the word out. We are so blessed. We are having such a huge effect. It is so wonderful. And I am thankful. I am thankful. I am appreciative of you, the listeners, and everything we've done together. But I want to hit Google and hit them hard today. I want to make one search term, Google Blacklist Prison Planet .com. Those three words, Google Blast Prison Planet .com. Put it into the search engine over and over again right now, folks. Don't count on others. But I also want to make... <coughs> I want to make another search term, number one, and that's Google is evil. Their motto is don't be evil. Well, Google is evil. They disguise themselves. They are an NSA CIA front. We told you that six years ago with former CIA intel officers, experts in technology we had on. Now it's mainstream news. And they're there in 11 years gobbling up the entire web, taking over the entire Internet. And I'm not going to put up with it. And I'm asking listeners to take our article to cover what's in it, to take snippets of the video or the whole video I posted while our channel's still there, and to get it out to everyone and to make your own YouTube videos about them censoring prisonplanet.com. They are probing. They are testing us. They are trying to wear us out. They're trying to always attack every few months so you get sick of hearing about it and just, oh, that's what they're going to do, and start just giving in and thinking it's a foregone conclusion. This is psychological warfare. You've got to say, not only are we going to fight you, we like fighting you. Come on, give me more. I like it. 
They can't beat that spirit, folks. Resistance is victory. The globalists know that. That's why they're all hyped up. They're arrogant. They never stop. But when you keep pushing and don't stop, they get scared. Ooh, oh, I'm weak. Help me. Oh. I mean, look, we've got the power. We are in the right. And don't stop. Don't stop. Don't ever stop. But Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, there is no doubt they are at the tip of the spear. And the globalists know that. If they can blunt that, they can slow us down. But their outrageous crimes are so legion, they're not getting away with any of this. For all their arrogance and all their bravada and all their imperial hubris, they are going to fail if you don't lay down in the ditch and lick their boots. I've seen the films and photos out of Soviet Russia, China, Africa, uh, Nigeria, just few, where people... They've got hundreds of people lined up on the street. There's only a few guards. They're, they're, they're like, you know, look like they're 15 official government guards. This is all over the major news channels on YouTube, but I, we know better. If I show you a clip of this now and we post it on YouTube, they'll take the site down. But, but you just, just, just search the term Nigerian executions. And you see these people. It's Christians executing Muslims, and I'm against Muslims killing Christians, and they do it too, and then Christians kill Muslims. It's wrong but for anybody, and they're just lining them up, and they take them in the street and have them lay down so, that, so they don't have to look them in the eyes, and they shoot them. And there's people standing there with shops and alleys. They could run for it. If all of them ran for it, they'd probably only be able to shoot a third of them. But I would charge the people with guns. I would fight back. But in Germany, in Russia, in China, in Nigeria, most people lay down. I mean, I've seen the film footage. I know you've seen it as well on the Eastern Front with the Nazis stripping down women and children and little kids with pigtails. You know, that, you know, that it just tears my guts out. And they march them into pits and just shoot them. And, 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 I, and I watch the men sit there while their kids are being led, led away to be shot. And the men just get down on their knees. And I mean, I would attack. I would, I, I would act weak and, uh, and then just, just literally, just literally bite the throat out of people. And by the way, you can do that if you just turn it loose physically. It's the same thing with InfoWar. If you just get down and dirty. Folks, you can just break people's arms in a fight. If you turn off the switch that, 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 that is a governor, you can just break people. It's the same thing in the InfoWar. I mean, you know what you can do with your bare hands? Really? Most people hold back, folks. It's the same thing societal info war. You must command respect. You must command leadership. You must know you have the truth. You must be leaders. You must be bold. You must be fearless. You must never stop in the face of this tyranny. Or give in to these people. I will not lay there in a ditch and be machine gun in the back. I will not lay there in the ditch if they come try to take my house. I will not lay there in the ditch if they try to take my children. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd show it to you, but I guarantee you, PBS and you know all these nature sites on YouTube, they're allowed to show it, but I guarantee you they'd shut my channel down if I showed you, next it'll probably be if I talk about it, if I showed you the films of water buffalo, if I showed you the uh, films of, of other animals, giraffes, you name it, at watering holes, and a lot of times when a lion comes up and grabs a baby, whether it's a water buffalo or uh, a wildebeest or zebras, I've seen a lot of these films, the, the other animals will run up in mass and attack the lions. And then a group of about, in one video, of eight big lions run out to fight them. And the zebras don't care. The giraffes don't care. These are all different videos I've seen. And they all just attack and start kicking and start attacking. And even in one video, kill one of the lions and are just stomping on it wildly. Animals have this basic instinct. I mean, where do you see an animal? Is that maybe a rabbit? Where do you see an animal that when a prey animal, well, a prey animal would be a rabbit that gives in, that, that when a predator comes in and tries to grab them, they don't fight back? I mean, if you don't fight back, at least with words, folks, the sky's the limit of how bad these people are going to rape us. And it is not heroic. It is not tough. It is not extraordinary for me to sit here and say, if I was in Soviet China, 
or communist China, Soviet Russia, Nazi Germany, uh, Nigeria, and they were trying to lead people in and shooting them in the back of the head, and I was next in line. I, w I would immediately elbow the guy in the nose. And, it, it, and he'd probably still machine gun me. But then other people would fight behind me and, and could get away or get a gun and fight back. But over and over again, I see people who lay down. What is your problem? I know right now most Americans would sit there while the government blew their children's heads off and do nothing about it. What is your problem? What is wrong with you? What did they do to you? Well, you've been drinking fluoride. You've been getting injected with mercury. You've been eating GMO. I understand that. But you've got to fight through the poisoning and get your humanity back and at least stand up and speak out. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.